Hi, I'm Valentin Zickner and in this video we are going to talk about how we can search for nested variables. Therefore, I prepared already a flowable environment with flowable design, flowable work and flowable control. We are now going ahead first creating a simple app. So that's our simple app. In that simple app we are adding for now a new model. So let's use a process model and that's my uh, demo process. In that demo process, I capture some data. That's all what I'm going to do for now. So on that start event, we are going to add a new start from reference. That's my demo data. In here, I am providing basically a first name and maybe also a last name. And then we could provide in addition to that in a panel, which we call just call address. Uh, uh, oh, another few text fields like street and city. Now when we select that panel we can go ahead and store that one in a single variable and then we have the variable address. So as soon as I basically fill that now out I can say here um, that's for example Zurich my city then I have address and city here basically as uh, what I have extracted here. Manesse Straße is for example the street so I have now here street and city nested while when I add the name it is basically flat on my process. Now let's save all of that and publish it since then we can go ahead and uh, create a new uh, work instance. And here I'm just using Vanessa Straße and Zurich. I create one like this one, and I create another one where we also say um, here maybe a city Stuttgart and uh, another name. So let's say that's Tom. And I have now two processes. And when we look at those uh, inside, global control and go to indices work there we see how they are indexed to our um, elastic search. In here I see uh, my last name which I didn't provide it. That's the reason why it's empty. I see my first name then I see here next the address which is now a uh, basically JSON value of both of them and whenever we would like to search for them, it is uh, going to be a little bit more complex compared to, for example, when we search for the first name uh, where we directly have here the text value and the text value keyword. So that is indexed basically in the way we uh, need it. Now there's a separate movie about how to create a query. Now what we would like to look at is basically how you can extract uh, the street and the city to your top level of your um, um, variables that you can simply search for them as well. Therefore let's go ahead and create a new uh, variable extractor and we are calling that address variable extractor and we are specifying in here that we would like to do this on our work instance and we have a variable extractor for uh, uh, for our variable basically address and on our process model demo process that is basically the process definition uh, key or the model key over here so demo process that one you can take from here and now we uh, still need to specify the path and the path is basically what we have inside that object as a JSON path so it's slash street and slash city so let's go for street for first, address street, and we are going to add that one. And I'm going to add a second one directly as well. So city, address city. And uh, we are again here in the definition demo process and the variable name is address. So let's save all of that and publish it. And that variable extractors apply, you either need to create a new instance or since I also would like to have them for the existing one, I can simply trigger the re-indexing. 
Now the re-indexing is happening in the background and finishing then uh, eventually. So let's check basically what we have. We still have uh, five variables in here, which seems to be what we have had at the beginning. Now, after I open that one more time, we see basically here that we have still our last name, we still have our first name, we have the address as we have had it before, and now we have the address street, which is here the Manesse Straße, and we have the address city, which is here Zurich. So um, now with those new virtual variables, we can go ahead and basically query them as we are used to from normal variables, but we still have stored it in a structured way on our um, process instance or case instance, whatever you use um, as we have had it before. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.